Alright, so this weekend in theaters, we're getting John Wick Chapter 2. And at the time that the first John Wick came out, I, was, I saw the movie, but I didn't have time to review it. So now about two and a half years later, I figure it's time to fix that. <laughs> Alright, so John Wick was an action movie that stars Keanu Reeves. You could say it revitalized the action genre. The plot of this movie is Keanu plays John Wick. He's this ex-hitman. He's been out of the game for a while. He's married to his wife. His wife gets sick and dies, but his wife leaves him a dog to take care of. So this dog is like the last thing that he has of his wife. And then some thugs break into his house, steal his car, and kill his dog. I was actually watching this movie a few weeks ago with some friends that had never seen it. And they saw the dog. They're like, oh, the dog's so cute. And then we see the thugs and stuff. And they break into the house. And, the, you know, the dog's barking at them. The whole time they're like, he's not going to kill the dog, is he? I'm just sitting there all like. But anyways, after that, John Wick is out for revenge against Theon Greyjoy and his super Italian father. And yeah, I would say this movie kind of did give the action genre a new life. First of all, you got Keanu Reeves in this movie. People say Keanu Reeves is a really likable, bad actor. I personally think the guy's awesome. Yes, his acting could be a little wooden at times, but that's part of the charm of it. There's a difference between being a bad actor and being a bad actor with charisma. And I'll even say John Wick is probably Keanu Reeves' best performance. He's got a couple scenes, like when his dog dies, and a few other scenes as well where his character does call for some emotional heft, and I think Keanu's able to hit those points. And Keanu Reeves is also one of the best action stars over the age of 50. It's him and Tom Cruise. These guys do almost all of their own stunts. And it pays off so well. That first action scene when the guys go back into his house and he just wipes all of them out. The action is so visceral and exciting. You can tell it, there's so much of it that's in camera because you're like, that is Keanu Reeves doing all that stuff. It just makes the whole movie feel much more alive because of that. They also coined that new type of action after this movie called Gun Fu, Kung Fu with the guns. It's really cool in this movie. You've seen little snippets of action styles like that in other movies, but never to this extent. And this movie, I would say, absolutely thrives in two different respects. One is all the action scenes, especially the hand-to-hand -hand combat, fighting, shooting, that kind of stuff. That's really cool. And also just in setting up this really cool world. It almost feels like it's in a video game movie. You know, they got this hotel where no business, like, you know, hitman business can be conducted on the premise of the hotel. So John Wick will go into this hotel and he'll see these enemies that he's made in the past, but none of them say anything about it because no business can be conducted on the premise. And really cool is you see what happens when someone does break those rules because you got Perkins who's an assassin she tries to kill John and then afterwards Ian McShane and all his guys they just surround her in this courtyard and he's like you broke the rules and you just see the look on her face she's just like yep I did all the guys raise their guns and just She's dead. That scene was awesome. Along with that mythology, you get this really cool backstory of John Wick, but they don't use flashbacks. I think that's what's so cool about it. You see some other movies like Suicide Squad or Split or, you know, the movies can range from good to bad, but they'll tell their backstory through all these flashbacks. And John Wick has one or two flashbacks near the beginning of the movie, but it doesn't rely on those flashbacks to give you the character of John Wick. There's a scene after Theon Greyjoy steals John Wick's car. He goes to John Leguizamo and John Leguizamo's like, you stole John Wick's car? Get out of here. He decks him, punches him in the face, and the kid's all, my father will hear about this. Sure enough, his father Vigo calls up John Leguizamo and he's like, why did you punch my son? And John Leguizamo goes, it's because he stole John Wick's car, sir. Vigo just says, oh. And then he hangs up. No extra information is needed from him. I will say that where this movie falters, it's in the fact that, so the whole movie is him trying to get revenge against the son that killed his dog. That plot ends with still about 15 to 20 minutes left in the movie, and then the last 15 to 20 minutes is him finishing the job, going after the dad. But it's like, alright, he already got his revenge, and that ending scene is still exciting. But I think another reason why that scene doesn't work that well is because this whole movie is built on hand-to-hand -hand combat fight scenes. And there is a cool hand-to-hand -hand fight scene in the end of the movie, but for the most part, that last 15-20 minutes is a giant car chase. And those car chases are cool, and the driving's really exciting in it, but it's just not as exciting as all the hand-to-hand -hand fight scenes that we had seen earlier in the movie. That's really my only big issue with John Wick that I can think of. Other than that, I think John Wick is a really cool action movie. It's got really good directing. The cast was really cool all around. Keanu Reeves is good. The villains are cool. Willem Dafoe's in the movie. He's good too. I believe I did put this in my top 10 favorite movies of 2014, so if you haven't seen John Wick, I would highly, highly recommend go watch it, especially before the second one comes out. But if you guys have seen John Wick, let me know what you thought of it down in the comments. And thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, you can click subscribe and check out some of my other videos. I'll catch you guys next time.